Hello, lifestyle business builders. So welcome to 2021. Wow, what a big year this is going to be. So I've got a couple of questions which I'll get stuck into in a moment. I'm just gonna jump into the Facebook group and make sure that I am showing up in the right place because for some reason, Ecamm has been doing some weird things and I'm not in the LBB group, which is really weird right now. So let me just see what is going on and why this is happening. Okay, let's go to groups. Let's go to LBB. Yeah, it's, oh, it's video is now live. Okay, great. Oh, so I am. Welcome to Great, we can get rid of that. Hello and good morning. Just needed to make sure before I start banging on and asking everyone's questions that I am in the right place because we had it at the end of last year, we had a few challenges with that. So here we are, 2020, welcome back. Yes, thank you. By the way, I can't see uh, who it is. For some reason, Ecamm keeps doing these updates. So if you've clicked the link before, um, above this post, there'll be a little link. You can click on that and that way I can see who it is that's commenting below and we can actually engage. You can ask me your questions here live on Top Tip Tuesdays and I will get onto them. So this is it. We are kicking off 2021 here in the Lifestyle Business Builder Mastermind. This will also go out live to our YouTube channel. Hey, Leanne, how are you? Nice to see you here. Um, this will go out live to our YouTube channel. So for those of you who are watching on YouTube and thinking, what is this all about? My name's Jody, co-founder of The Seven Effect, where we help you design your dream life and build your dream business. And I run a mastermind called The Lifestyle Business Builders. In that mastermind, I work closely with a small group of women every year to help them go from zero or five figures up to six figures a year, working part-time, living an extraordinary life and doing what they love for a living. I love my job. This is me working. So I wanted to uh, kick off with telling you a few things that are changing in 2021 in the Lifestyle Business Builder community or LBB as we call it. Now, Leanne, just give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay if the sound is coming through. That would be awesome. I'm assuming it is because uh, there's not been anything from you saying I can't hear you. So 2021, we've got extra value coming at you. So I've been, thank you for the thumbs up, Leanne. I appreciate that. I have uh, locked in Marty May every Friday from 10 till 12 to continue the tech support. I have got uh, two coaching calls for you a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 10 till 12. And then on Wednesdays, starting in March, when she comes back from maternity leave, the amazing PR and copy master, Amy Springhall, founder of The Edge PR and uh, Communications, is going to be showing up once a month running the copy fix classes for you. So that is epic. I've also met, um, locked in some really amazing guest gurus that will happen on a Wednesday. And we're gonna be running a goals club on a Wednesday. So just so you know, this year, there are coaching calls every day from Tuesday to Friday. That's four days a week instead of just two. We've doubled our level of support. They all happen at 10 to 12 Adelaide time. So no one can get lost and go, oh, what time's the call? this time or this year, it's always the same time, Tuesday to Friday, super easy to remember, lock them in your calendar. Tuesday and Thursday will be with me coaching, Friday is tech support, and Wednesday is a rotating day. So on Wednesdays, we have first Wednesday of the month, Goals Club, second Wednesday of the month, NLP with Tony, third Wednesday of the month, a guest guru, please make sure you come to the February and March guest guru sessions because they are locked in and going to be epic. We've got Jade, the founder of Fable and Fig, speaking to us on the 17th of February about how to get amazing amounts of followers for free on social media and really fun, creative ways to build a following on social media. You are gonna wanna be there for that because Jade is so inspiring. 
And then in March, we've got Alicia from the Ads Manager who is going to talk to you about how to leverage your um, following using Google Ads, AdWords, um, SEO and all things like that. So she's going to have a lot of cool stuff to share as well. And I've been using Alicia uh, for our ads, Google Ads for the last couple of months. And we are getting a lovely little trickle, uh, which is very normal. Facebook ads sort of tend to give you a bit of a flood of leads, but we're getting a lovely little trickle of leads starting to come in. It takes a little bit longer with Google Ads, but they're high quality, very qualified leads because they're actively searching for a business coach. So pretty cool. Good morning, Mary. Um, great to see you here. See, Mary's got the little um, icon showing. She's obviously clicked the link above. Giddy up, Mary. All right, so I've got a couple of questions from Marty and um, who else well, is the question from? I've just got to close that down because... Uh, welcome to sorry. and why this is happening. Uh, yeah, I just want to go here and see my shush um, question. So there's two questions. One's from Marty and uh, one's from you, Mary. So let's do your uh, question first. Any tips researching and using keywords? Oh boy. So <laughs> hire someone to do it for you. Now, Mary, you are going to be uh, getting access to Gabriel, our um, intern for this week. He's going to treat you like a client and uh, he's going to help you do that. So my tips would be you can go into Google um, and use the keyword tool and search that. I've tried it. I personally don't find it easy and I personally don't want to learn any of that stuff. So my hot tip would be find someone who knows how to do it and get them to do the search for you. So let's set you up, Mary, with Gabrielle to work that out for you and come up with a list of your keywords. When you uh, join the masterclass with us next week, um, oh, Leanne, the link to push is up in the actual post of this video. If you go above and see where the video is, you'll see uh, where I've written what I'm going to be covering in the post and there's a little link there. Oh, Oops, see, sorry, sorry. When I click on that. I keep seeing this, but it, say, it says Ecamm Live. You need to click that link and then I'll be able to see you. Um, hopefully that helps Marianne. I mean, Leanne and Mary. Um, so Mary, yes, uh, let's get Gabrielle onto it. My hot tip on that is hire someone to do it if you don't know how to use the Google search and keyword tool. Um, I've tried and I find it quite annoying to be honest. But uh, Alicia, who's from the ads, uh, ads manager uh, company, she owns that business, is going to teach us some tips in the May uh, March masterclass. So make sure you join, that, um, join us for that. So Mary says, when I search property, I keep getting the property brothers. Oh, so that means Mary that they're ranking, they're doing a lot of SEO. So SEO stands for search engine optimization. And you can either pay to be up high in Google, or you can uh, do search engine optimization. And so basically, when you know what your keywords are, and you create lots of content on the word uh, on the world world wide web through blogging, through your website copy, through YouTube. YouTube is a search engine, by the way. Pinterest is a search engine. Um, and you know that your keywords might be uh, property development and then you write lots of blogs around property development, you have lots of videos around property development and you run some ads to it, you will go up higher in Google search. So you can either work with an SEO uh, master, it can be very expensive, um, but you can get there over time to become the top organic search or you can pay to, to run ads and you can buy position up the top. I know that Suzanne Ingleton has been doing uh, Google ads for maybe coming close to a year, or it wouldn't be a year now, but maybe six to seven months. And she has now become the number one uh, search when you type in hypnosis weight lo loss for hers. But she's invested in that strategically, very hard to do it randomly. Little trick though, Mary, if you want to come up the top is 
open a YouTube channel and start doing lots of videos with the keywords for your industry that you want to be found in because YouTube is owned by Google and what happens is when people search, Google will give you up ads first, a video and then uh, all the organic stuff below that. So there's a little tip on that. But in terms of finding out the right keywords for you, you can go into the Google AdWords, um, Google Keywords tool. You can type some searches and then you can read the data and it will say to you, uh, yes, this is getting searched a lot. No, this is not getting searched much at all. What you want to do is find the long chain keywords and use those phrases like how to develop property or what is the best suburb to invest in in Adelaide or how to develop a property on a budget or 10 best ways to um, add value to a property. I don't know if they're popular searches, but the Google Keywords tool, if you know how to use it, I don't know how to use it, but if you do know how to use it, will tell you what the most popular searches are somehow. So that would be my tip for you, uh, Mary. I'll jump in and I'll ask answer Marty's question as well. Hers was, because Marty will probably catch the replay, Marty asked me about, oh, hey, Suzanne, how are you? Great to see you here. And thanks, Mary. Uh, I'm glad you like the, the YouTube suggestions. Marty asked about um, website terms and conditions. So when you run, particularly if you're running advertising to your websites, you must have the appropriate um, terms and conditions like non-disclosure, whatever it is. It's the, it's the legal jargon somewhere in your website. And can you uh, copy the seven effects? Now we've had ours done. I didn't write it. Um, and we've worked with professionals to get that done properly. What I recommend rather than copying and pasting anyone's exactly as is go to five different websites in your industry, read them all, copy one version, find out where the similar similarities are, find out if there's any unique differences. I'm not an IP lawyer, I'm not a business lawyer, so if you wanna seek legal advice, but if you're looking for a simple way that I think would get you through, um, while you're starting out is look at five different versions of it. See what the, the general theme is. Take one version of it that you like the most, copy it and then go through it and adjust it to suit your business and make it your own version of that. I wouldn't go around just straight up copy paste and being lazy and not changing anything because it's just not a good idea. Um, the other thing you could do is you could Google uh, to find templates for it or um, people that do that for people. So you can download a template. Many contracts that we've used, we've taken as copied versions of other contracts that we've had that you can tell have been written by a lawyer and we've written our own version of that. So we never just directly copy and paste anyone's stuff. But you, you get wise, you get a bit savvy, you look at what the themes are or what people are consistently doing and you make your version of it. All right, hopefully that helps Marty. But yes, definitely look at ours and um, have a look at it, just tweak it a bit. But I'd also recommend having a look at some other websites. Let's talk about planning. So we do a business bootcamp called Startup and we do a business bootcamp called Scale Up. And our business bootcamp called Startup includes one day where we focus entirely on strategic planning. And the goal is to build your plan on a page. Now, for those of you that are coming into the business bootcamp, we will be doing that early March, which is great. But for those of you who are not, uh, which is most of you, because we only have a small number in the bootcamp, I wanna make sure that you all have your strategic plan on a page set up by the end of the first week in March. So the theme for term one here in the Lifestyle Business Builder is planning. And what I would like you to do first for February is look at your life plan and work out your future self, use the tools in the seven wonders and get clear on where you want your life to be. Now, I just wanted to share with you, if you go into, I'm just gonna share my screen. Now, 
This is the Lifestyle Business Builder Mastery, the original version of the Lifestyle Business Builder. The program that I built thinking that it was going to be eight weeks to teach you how to build a business. It is very comprehensive. We created it in 2016 was when it launched. So it's five years old now, but there's a lot of good content in there that's still very relevant. So there's a couple of things. Creating your vision is a module I would revisit. And in particular, if you go down here and you click on the big rocks part of your creating your vision, and you'll see here, there's some downloads. So watch this video. And I recommend that you download your ultimate week template and complete that. Like I would love to set this as a task for everyone to do moving forward in February. In fact, I reckon that it would be really great for everyone to actually go through this vision module for the month of February. If you're brand new in LBB, obviously watch the welcome module as well. And let's make sure that by the end of February, you are ready to rock and roll with a really strong life plan. After that, we are going to jump into your strategic business plan because the reason why we do life first is we want to build a business that's going to give you the life of your dreams. Now, I've got a question here from Suzanne. What program are you using to share your screen with um, for your live video page? It's called Ecamm Live. So if I do Ecamm Live, I'll go back here. I can bring in, which is really cool, Suzanne, all these extra things. So for example, I actually loaded this in here before, which is some slides from our six figure plan on a page bootcamp. I'll just move out the way here and I can slide them down there if I want to, Suzanne. And so using Ecamm Live, I can jump to different screens. I could bring in a guest and have them talk here on Skype with me if I want. Um, I can share my iPad if I have it set up. I don't have it set up. It's charging. Um, I can go to my main screen or I can share the screen here and I can just flip around between these different things. So I'm going to go back here and uh, once you've done the vision module, I want you to start thinking about your strategic business plan because our mission in March is to make sure that everyone has this. Now, when I worked, I'll just get rid of that for a minute. When I worked in the corporate world, I used to do this for organizations. And I did a lot of study around what drives high performing organizations. Suzanne says, love it, very professional. Strategy plan on a page is what I work with my business clients. Absolutely, I love a one page plan. And so when I'm doing this in a corporate space, I build the plan around six pillars. And these are the six pillars of high-performing organizations. So with all the research I did in high-performing organizations, um, and this particularly comes from the Australian High Performance Workplace Index. Um, it's, a, it's a study that went for, I think, three to five years. Hundreds of organizations, thousands of people. The data says high-performing organizations build their business plans around six key pillars, leadership, employee engagement, customer experience, fairness and equity, productivity and profitability, and innovation. Now, as a lifestyle entrepreneur, we don't need all of that stuff. So I've, with the wisdom of knowing what that's all about, I've come up with five pillars for lifestyle entrepreneurs. Let me just skip through here. So your five pillars that I recommend you build your plan around are vision and belief, products and services, clients and cash flow, structure and systems, and community. Now, what's really fun, just for laughs, is you could actually go back into the original LBB, and I haven't even looked, and if you go to the module Simple Structures, I haven't looked at this since 2016, and it's probably our 2015 plan. Down here, you'll see your LBD, our, our program was even called Life by Design back then, um, not Lifestyle Business Builder. That's a funny story. We launched our program and called it Life by Design, and then um, 
a, a company came after us and said they'd trademarked that term. So we had to change the name to Lifestyle Business Builder. Um, so you'll see here, we've still got the original name there, LBD, B, BD, but it should be LBB. Anyway, there's some videos there where I talk you through how to set up your strategic plan. This is the old school 7FX um, branding. Uh, it's part of our ugly folder, really. And it might be very interesting to look back and go, right, what was in our plan compared to what's in our plan these days? It's a, a very different plan. In fact, I should go and have a look at it. So those are the five pillars of lifestyle business strategic planning. Vision and belief is all around your reputation for where you want to be and how you see yourself as a business and as a leader in your movement. Products and services is what are you actually bringing to the table? Let's get specific about that. Clients and cash flow, how many paying how much? Really, this is about your measures around how many clients are you going to be bringing into your business and how much money are they going to be paying you? Structures and systems, what will your business run or operate on? And finally, your community, what will you do to engage your community? Now, in our slides, I have a template there. I'll actually share these into LBB. And in March, I'll do a little bit of a tutorial on it for everybody so that I can guide you through how to use this. There'll be an online video uh, module that's, that's updated, but basically you can go through the, the original videos there and see it. So here's what I recommend for your strategic plan is you have your mantra at the top. Then you have a statement about it, which is just a one liner that sort of confirms what you're about. And then you have your measures. Now the measures are what matters the most. You'll see in the slides, which I'll share into LBB, there's the example, if I make this bigger, of ours. So vision and belief. I want the seven effect to be global leaders in life design and lifestyle business. So my vision expands not just locally, but internationally. Your vision might be, I want to be the cities or the states, whatever your city or state is, or the countries, whatever your country is. And then I've got a statement about it. So we're the go-to coaches and consult consultants and educators who want to improve their life. Um, so we're the go-to for coaches, consultants, and educators who want to improve their life, step up as a leader, and build six-figure lifestyle business. So that's about us just becoming the go-to. I would still refine this again. I haven't really looked at this for um, since the start of 2020. So every year, my uh, plan changes, and I'll be going through this and changing. In fact, it's interesting I look at the measures and some of them I actually just didn't get done. It was a crazy year. And so some of these will carry over and some of them will be deleted altogether and some of them will be upgraded to be either bigger numbers or smaller numbers. So they're my offers, the different things that we're running, the measures, some of those things got shut down because of COVID, but some of them we just put online. And then in the other areas, I've got my measures. So anyway, that is that. Measures do matter. Remember, we're leveling in every month. And Wednesday this week, I'm kicking things off with the Goals Club from 10 to 12. And then next month, Goals Club will be run by one of our amazing accredited 7Effect coaches, where you can get in and get that accountability coaching that you need every month. Goals Club is very simple. We go, right, what am I going to get done this month? You set the accountability, you share it in the group, you go off and do it, you show up the next month, you report on what you got done, you share your lessons learned, you set the goals for the next month. That's how easy it is. Very simple, but very powerful process. Okay, have we got any more questions? Let's see uh, what's going on there. Who is this? So I can't see who's saying, should I look at this? And hi, it may be one of our newbies. So if you click the link above this video, there should be a bit of writing and a link with the post where I'm going live that says Ecamm something. And when you click that link, it'll give permission to show your face and that way I will um, see who it is. Suzanne's asking, is there no longer a Thursday night call? 
No, no more Thursday night calls, Suzanne. My goal, big part of my strategic plan for 2021 was to not work in the evenings anymore. So all calls, 10 till 12, that's that. And I'm really pumped about that. Um, oh, brilliant. It's Amber Rushton. So Amber, yes. Um, I recommend that you look at this for sure. And if you have, so Amber, just so you know, every Tuesday morning I jump in and I just do a live Top Tips Tuesday where I'm talking like this. People post questions throughout the week under the, the post that I put here and I answer them on the Top Tip Tuesday. And then from 10 till 12 on Tuesday, we actually do a coaching call. So you can jump in there and get more one-on-one -on -one, um Oh, it kicks you out uh, altogether. That's weird. It should take you to another page and ask for permission to do something. So I'm not sure why that's happening. Um, we'll have to have a look at that and we'll work that out, Amber, somehow. But anyway, Top Tip Tuesday happens every Tuesday morning and then coaching calls happen, uh, which are a different thing. That's on Zoom and that's much more, you know, working with you on the specific stuff. But yes, 100% Amber, I would say for sure, let me just get my screens up. Uh, where is it? Uh, screen menu, if I share my screen. Uh, jump into the original Lifestyle Business Builder Mastery, complete the welcome module and go through the creating your vision module. I reckon that would be a really good place to start Amber. Um, particularly the thing I want everyone to do for the month of February is the big rocks. Don't worry about your strategic plan yet, Amber. We'll do that in March. But go through this module here, creating your vision, and let's get your life plan in place. That's what I'd love you to do for this month. Okay, let's see if we've got any more questions. Good morning. I think that's Zaviko. She's got the hand waving, gives it away. And uh, it's great to see you here as well, Zaviko. All right. So I'll wrap that up. I'm looking forward to a... Oh, thanks, Suzanne, for being my moderator. That question was from Leanne Sanders. <laughs> I appreciate you helping me with all the names of the people that I can't see. Um, I'm really looking forward to 2021, folks. It's going to be a big year. Um, December and January were epic months for us at the Lifestyle Business Builder or in the seven effect. In fact, we had two of our biggest months that we've had all year, which is fantastic. We're breaking new ground and I think it's really set the tone and I was on holiday for most of it. So it just goes to show what you can do when you build a really strong community around you. And I did simp we haven't been doing email marketing at all. We've just done a little bit of social media um, call outs and that's it. But I've created some irresistible offers and we've got some Google ads running, which is bringing us some new leads and uh, funnels are working for us, which is lovely. We are living life automated more and more every day. So I'm looking forward to showing you all how to do that and let's, make magic happen in 2021 and get you all to that 10, 15K as a baseline for your monthly income. And some of you are ready to jump to 20 or 30K this year. Amber, I reckon you are definitely one of those. Straight to 20 or 30K consistently. And we've been sitting at that once we got to it. I mean, we sort of went straight there in year two of our business. And we've always maintained a 20 to 30K baseline. From there, going to the 50K baseline is the journey that we're at. We've kind of cracked that nut. And then it becomes, how do we maintain that and double it, leverage up to 100K a month? That's my mission for this year. That was my mission last year, actually. Didn't quite get there. That's okay. Learned a lot of stuff. Looking forward to sharing it with you. Um, so that's it for this week's Top Tip Tuesday. I'll see you all on the coaching call if you can join me and uh, let's make it happen. See you folks. Bye-bye.